Here is my copper electroplating bucket. This is just a paint bucket <clears throat> that's filled with vinegar, um, just cheap vinegar that I bought at a dollar store, and uh, some Zep root killer, as much Zep root killer, the copper uh, sulfate crystals that the vinegar will take uh, when it starts uh, when it stops dissolving in there that's as much as you can go um, have two electrodes here I've, and this is just made out of heavy ground wire here's my uh, my positive uh, or anode that's in the bottom of the solution and here's my cathode which is what the uh, the lead bullet is going to be connected to and dangled into the solution. This is my power supply. Here's what I found. Um, the surface preparation is obviously uh, of paramount importance, of equal importance, or at least at least as equal. On top of that, um, is that you're running very low voltage. I started out trying to use a car charger that has a six volt setting but it was just destroying the bullets when it was plating it was I mean it was just like fizzing left and right so that I can control the current and the voltage on this and I've been plating it about about a volt and have and I have the uh, the bullet maybe two inches away from from the electrode in the bottom of the uh, bucket so very very slowly um, I've read on the internet, you know, some people are using 6 volts, 7.5, some people are using 12, but it just hasn't worked for me. Um, I've, I've uh, adjusted things down on this uh, little power supply <clears throat> to about a volt, volt and a half, and it's running maybe at uh, half an amp of, of current. So I'm going to set this up and start it up for the third video.